to get up and talk to God. Is there any further business to be brought for the chapter at this time? Mr. Mr. Chairman. Chairman. Delegate 3. I move to take from the table the motion that the Amboy FFA chapter provide refreshments for all polling place volunteers during our upcoming county election. Second. Is it moved by Delegate 3 and seconded by Delegate 2 that we take from the table the motion that the Amboy FFA chapter provide refreshments for all polling place volunteers during our upcoming county election. This is not debatable and requires a majority vote to pass. All those in favor of taking this motion from the table, please say aye. Aye. All opposed say no. No. The no's have it. Motion fails. Is there any further business? Mr. Mr. Chairman. Delegate 2. I move the Amboy FFA chapter host a state legislator at our school in conjunction with our annual Barnyard Day and with our annual local FFA alumni kickoff meeting. Is there second. a second? It's been set, moved by Delegate 2 and seconded by Delegate 3 that the Amboy FFA chapter host a state legislator at our school in conjunction with our annual Barnyard Day and with our annual local FFA alumni kickoff meeting. This is debatable and requires a majority vote to pass. Is there any debate? Mr. Mr. Chairman! Delegate 2. I'm in favor of this motion because we have a lot of kids in our FFA chapter that love government and I feel like this is a great way to connect their interests with our FFA chapter and it's a great way to increase membership because we, a lot of our FFA members love animals so Barnyard Day would be a great way and we have a lot of alumni to really boost our membership. That's why you should vote in favor of this motion. Mr. Mr. Chairman! Chairman. Delegate 5. I'm opposed to this motion because I believe that this would not be a great turnout now, um, having a state legislator come would be um, a bad idea because our school is actually very unorganized and a barnyard day would not turn out very well because um, members don't really come, so therefore you vote opposed. Mr. Chairman, Chairman. Delegate 1. I'm in favor of this main motion because it would be a great way to get our chapter involvement up. We don't have many people who are participating in events. This would be a great way to offer many different opportunities for our FFA members. Therefore, you should vote in favor of this main motion. Mr. Mr. Chairman, Chairman. Delegate 4. I'm opposed to this motion because the Barnyard Day is something we've already done in the past, and I feel that people are really burnt out about their politics and government. And we also haven't, the alumni really hasn't done much for us this year, so therefore I don't really think it would make sense to do this for them. So please vote opposed. Mr. Chairman, Delegate 3. I'm in favor of this motion due to the fact that I think a state legislator would kind of be taken as royalty in Amboy, Illinois. I think that it would bring a lot of people out to the event, and I think that we could get a great turnout, and it would be a great opportunity for our chapter. So I urge you all to vote in favor of this motion. Thank you. Is there any further debate? Mr. Chairman, Delegate 5. I move to postpone this motion indefinitely. Second. It's moved by Delegate 5 and seconded by Delegate 4 that we postpone this motion indefinitely. This is debatable and requires a majority vote to pass. Is there any debate? Mr. Mr. Chairman, Chairman, Delegate 5. I'm in favor of killing this motion because I believe this would not be a good turnout. We don't have many people in our FFA, or in our um, chapter, and having a state legislator would not be a good idea for our school, as well as everyone is burnt out on this because we have had a barnyard day in the past and it was not success successful, so therefore we should vote in favor. Mr. Chairman, Delegate 2. I'm opposed to postponing this indefinitely because we need to talk about this motion further. I feel like there's a lot of good benefits if we were to pass this motion, and I think killing the motion would just take all of our opportunities off the table. That's why we should vote opposed to killing this motion. Is there any further debate? Seeing none, one out, suitable vote. All those in favor of postponing this motion indefinitely, please say aye. Aye. All opposed say no. No. The no's have it. Postponing indefinitely fails. Is there any further debate on the main motion? Mr. Chairman. Delegate 1. I move to amend this main motion by inserting freshmen after chapter to read the Amboy FFA chapter freshmen host a state legislator at our school in conjunction with our annual Barnyard Day with our annual local FFA alumni kickoff meeting. Is there second. a second? It has been moved by Delegate 1 and seconded by Delegate 2 that we amend the main motion by inserting freshman after chapter. So it now reads the Amboy FFA chapter freshman host a state legislator at our school in conjunction with our annual Barnyard Day and with our annual local FFA alumni kickoff meeting. This is debatable and requires a majority vote to pass. Is there any debate? Mr. Mr. Chairman. Chairman! Delegate 1. I made this amendment because I believe our freshmen are desired to get involved in our FFA. They have been so involved this past year, and I think it's a great way to give them a responsibility skill. They haven't been able to host much in the past. I think this would be a great way to get them more involved. There's you, therefore, you should vote in favor of this amendment. Mr. I rise Chairman. to the question of privilege. State your question. May we please turn on the AC? It's quite warm in here. No, it may not. The meeting room is comfortable as it is. Question denied. I move to appeal the decision of the chair. Second. Second. It's been moved by Delegate 4 and seconded by Delegate 3 to appeal the decision of the chair. All those in favor of upholding the decision of the chair, please say aye. 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 All opposed say no. No. The decision of the chair is upheld. I call for a division of the assembly. Division has been called by Delegate 4. All those in favor of upholding the, the, the decision of the chair, please rise. Thank you. All opposed, please rise. Thank you. The decision of the chair is upheld with a vote of four in favor and one opposed. Is there any further debate on the amendment to the main motion? Mr. Mr. Chairman. Chairman. Delegate 3. I believe this is a bad amendment due to the fact that the freshmen are very irresponsible. I mean, they've destroyed our bathrooms to the point where our administration has had to take them away from us and put a lock on the door. So I think that this would be a terrible idea to put this into their hands. So please, vote opposed to this motion. Thank you. Mr. Mr. Chairman. Delegate 5. I am strongly opposed to this amendment because our freshmen are very immature. For God's sake, they attack each other in the hallway in the morning before school starts. 
And they're very unorganized, so they would not be able to organize this. So therefore, you should vote opposed. Mr. Mr. Chairman. Doug, you too. I'm in favor of having the freshmen host the state legislature because they haven't done much in our chapter, and there are so many of them that I feel like they could all come together and get our state and get a state legislator to come to our school. They also haven't done much for our chapter this year, so I feel like this is a great way to get them involved. That's why we should vote in favor of this amendment. Mr. Chairman. Chairman Doug, you for it. I'm also in favor of this amendment because we have many freshmen involved in our chapter, and they take our FFA chapter really seriously, and I think that they would promote it for the better in the best way Way possible. So if we, have, if we should have anybody do it, it should be the freshmen. So please vote in favor. Mr. Chairman, Delegate 5. I move for previous question. Second. It's been moved by Delegate 5 and seconded by Delegate 2 for previous question. This is not debatable and requires a two-thirds vote to pass. All those in favor of previous question, please rise. Thank you. All opposed, please rise. Thank you. Previous question fails with both two in favor and three opposed. Is there any further debate on the I rise matter? to parliamentary inquiry. State your inquiry. Would a referred committee be in order at this time? A referred committee would be in order at this time. Mr. Chairman, Delegate 5, I move to refer this to a committee of five chapter officers. Second. It has been moved by Delegate 5 and seconded by Delegate 2 that we refer the main motion to a committee of five chapter officers. This is debatable and requires a majority vote to pass. Is there any debate? Mr. Mr. Chairman. Chairman, Delegate 5. I'm in favor of this motion because I believe that five chapter officers would be able to better decide what we should do about this motion. Um, so therefore, you should vote in favor. I Mr. Chairman, inquiry. state your inquiry. Are guests allowed to debate at meetings? Guests are not allowed to debate our meeting according to Robert's Rules of Order. Mr. Chairman. Delegate 2. I move to suspend the rules that interfere with guest debating at our meetings. Is there a second? second. It's been moved by Delegate 2 and seconded by Delegate 4 that we suspend the rules that interfere with guest debating at our meetings. This is not debatable and requires a two-thirds vote to pass since it is a parliamentary rule. All those in favor of suspending the rules, please rise. Thank you. All opposed, please rise. Thank you. Suspend the rules fails with both two in favor and three opposed. Is there any further debate on the referred to committee? Mr. Mr. Chairman. Chairman. Delegate Ford. I'm in favor of this referred to committee because I feel that five chapter officers would bring a lot of ideas to the table and we can trust them with a matter like this to get back to us at an efficient time. So please vote in favor. Mr. Mr. Chairman. Chairman. Delegate one. I'm opposed to referring this to a committee of five chapter officers. I think these events are something that we should do before the end of the year is over and by referring it to a committee it would not be back in time for us to make a decision and start planning those events before the end of the school year. So I urge you to opposed to this referred to committee. All right, Mr. Chairman. Parliamentary inquiry. State your inquiry. Would an amendment be in order on this refer? An amendment would be in order at this time. Mr. Chair. Delegate 3. I move to amend this uh, referred to committee by striking out 5 and inserting 3. Se second. It's been moved by Delegate 3 and seconded by Delegate 2 that we amend the refer by striking out 5 and inserting 3. So now we, we refer this main motion to committee of three chapter officers. This is debatable and requires a majority vote to pass. Is there any debate? Mr. Mr. Chairman. Chairman. Delegate 3. I make this motion because I think that 5 is too many. I think that 3 is the perfect amount of officers to make this decision. I mean, a lot of them are very busy right now with graduation coming up. They have to write speeches for baccalaureate and for graduation. So I think that limiting the number to three would be a great opportunity for them to get together. So please vote in favor of this motion. Mr. Mr. Chairman, Chairman. Delegate one. I move to limit debate to one more debate. Second. It's been moved by Delegate 1 and seconded by Delegate 2 that we limit debate to one more debate. This is amendable and requires a two-thirds vote to pass. Are there any amendments? Seeing none, we'll now proceed to a vote. All those in favor of limiting debate, please rise. Thank you. All opposed, please rise. Thank you. Limit debate fails with both two in favor and three opposed. Is there any further debate on the amendment to the referred? I'm going to share question and privilege. State your question. May I get my water bottle on quite parts? No, you may not. That would be too distracting to our meeting. Question denied. I move to appeal the decision of the chair. Second. It's been moved by Delegate 2 and seconded by Delegate 3 to appeal the decision of the chair. All those in favor of upholding the decision of the chair, please say aye. 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 All opposed say no. No. The decision of the chair is upheld. Mr. Chairman. Delegate 4. I move for previous question. Second. Is it removed by Delegate Mr. Chairman, I withdraw my motion. Since your motion had not been properly stated before the assembly, withdrawal does not require a vote, and your motion is withdrawn. Is there any further debate on the amendment to the referred? Mr. Chairman. Delegate 4. I move to limit debate to one minute per member per debate. Second. Is it removed by Delegate 4 and seconded by Delegate 2 that we limit debate to one debate per member per debate. This is not debatable and requires a two-thirds vote to pass. Are there any amendments? Seeing none, we will now proceed to a vote. All those in favor of a limiting debate, please rise. Thank you. All opposed, please rise. Thank you. Limit debate fails with both two in favor and three opposed. Is there any further debate on the amendment? Mr. Mr. Chairman. Chairman. Delegate 2. I'm in favor of this amendment because I feel like three chapter officers is better than five because it'll be easier for three chapter officers to meet instead of five because they're all in seniors, they're all in track, they're all trying to get scholarships, and they're trying to figure out where they're going to go to college. That's why I think you should vote in favor of this amendment. Mr. Mr. Chairman. I rise to a parliamentary inquiry. State your inquiry. What is the vote required on this motion? A majority vote is required to pass an amendment. Mr. Mr. Chairman, Chairman. Delegate 1. I'm, I'm in favor of referring this to a committee of three chapter officers because three is a lot less members than five, and so they would be able to report back to us quite quickly than they could with five chapter officers. Therefore, you should vote in favor of this referred. Mr. Mr. Chairman. Chairman. Delegate 3. I would just like to reiterate the fact that this is very important that we limit this to three members, or three officers, due to the fact that they are extremely busy and they need this time to 
plan for uh, college and graduation. So I urge you all to vote in favor of this motion. Mr. Chairman, Doug, for it. I'm opposed to this because three chapter officers would not bring enough ideas to the table like five chapter officers would. And like they all said, that they're too busy and they would not have enough time to really focus on this matter. So please vote opposed. Is there any further debate? Seeing that, we'll now proceed to a vote. All those in favor of amending the referred by striking out five and inserting three, please say aye. Aye. All the opposed say no. No. Motion passes. Is there any further debate on the amendment or on the motion to refer this to the committee of three chapter officers? Seeing none, we will now proceed to a vote. All those in favor of referring the main motion to a committee of three chapter officers, please say aye. Aye. All the opposed say no. Motion passes. Is there any further business? Mr. Mr. Chairman, Chairman, Delegate 1. I move to adjourn this meeting. Second. It has been moved by Delegate 1 and seconded by Delegate 2 that we adjourn this meeting. This is not debatable and requires a majority vote to pass. All those in favor of adjourning this meeting, please say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion passes. The meeting adjourned. Please rise for questioning. We'll begin with you, Mr. Chairman. During your session, a member called for a division of assembly. What happens if it was clear that the assembly voted unanimously for a motion? What action would you take? I would say that the division was uh, dilatory because it was already proved that people were in favor of the motion. If a ruling you make is appealed, what are the rules of debate for the chairperson? I am allowed to have one debate. Contestant one. The subsidiary motion to limit debate requires what vote to pass? A two-thirds vote. When is limit debate considered exhausted? When all members have already debated to the original votes, which is two debates per member for 10 minutes. Contestant two. What vote is required to suspend a standing rule? Two-thirds. What rules cannot be suspended? Bylaws. Contestant three. The motion to take from the table may only be made when? When no other business is pending. What are the time limits on when a motion must be taken from the table? Within that meeting. Contestant four. May a member withdraw his question before it is seconded? Explain your answer. No. Because it uh, belongs to the ownership of the assembly rather than just the maker. If you are in the debate of a motion that you proposed and you request that this motion is withdrawn, how is this handled? How can you repeat that? If you are in the debate of a motion that you proposed, and you request that the motion is withdrawn, how is this handled? Uh, the chairman would rule it out of order. Contestant five. What is the difference between a standing committee and a special committee? Um, a standing committee is a committee that exists already, and a special committee is um, a committee that is made for just that one reason. What are the rules of debate in committee meetings? Um, one debate per member for 10 minutes. Okay, and I have one special question for all of you. What's up with your freshmen? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're terrible. They really are. Thank you. We did a good job.